What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Um, this video is a special video for anybody who watches these and is a big fan of Star Trek. This is for all you big Star Trek nerds. Uh, if you're a fan of the series or the video games, this one's for you. Today in Unity, I'm going to show you how to make a basic photon torpedo using nothing but a sprite and um, Unity's particle system. So start up a new project, call it whatever you want. This is just, uh, I'm just showing you how to actually make the weapon itself. Uh, and there's a few extra files I'm going to be using for this tutorial. And that is, I have a sprite and a, sp and a sound that I'm taking from an old Star Trek game called Bridge Commander. If any of you guys have played it cool, if not, don't worry about it. Uh, the sprite and the sound will be available for download after. You can just check it out from the GitHub repo uh, once I upload it. Um, so once Unity opens here, I just save the scene name as Photon. You can save it as whatever you like. Uh, it's not that important. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our assets. So you can use your own custom sprite and sound for this if you want, but these are just the ones that I happen to be using. So let's import new asset. Let's go to the desktop and I want my sprite, which is called CA Photon, and this sound file right here. So I'm gonna import these guys. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is we wanna make this compatible with a sprite renderer. And what a sprite renderer is, is something that we put on a 3D object to render a sprite uh, in 3D space, even though the sprite's only 2D. So this is in, what format is this in? TGA, no problem. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to texture type and we are going to turn this into a sprite 2D and UI. And we're just gonna hit apply. We don't have to change any other settings. Uh, we don't actually have to edit the sprite at all. It's already basically in the form that I want it. If I click this sprite editor right here, uh, you'll notice that the sprite also has color. Um, lots of the times I, I don't use sprites with colors. I like to add the color myself, but this is not a problem in this instance since this is close to the color that I will be using for the torpedo. So let's go back into the inspector. Everything's good here. Uh, this is the sound uh, sound bite that I'm going to be using. We'll get to that after we program a little bit. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, prefab set up. So I already had created a game object here, but I'll go with it. I'll go through it uh, with you again. So create an empty game object, and we're going to call it Photon Torpedo. Very simple. Just going to save that. Oh, whoops! Always hit enter, folks. Photon Torpedo. So, okay, perfect. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just reset the transform. Okay, so there's a few things that I'm gonna to wanna to add to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a 3D object, a sphere. Now, I'm not actually gonna be using a sphere uh, anywhere in this torpedo, but what I actually want from this is a sphere collider. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is on top of uh, this collider, I'm gonna put the sprite right here uh, on this game object, sorry and the uh, particle system which we will be manipulating to get the torpedo effect to show up. So you don't have to do anything to this now, but in the, in the future, we're gonna remove the, um, the sphere mesh and the mesh renderer. Uh, you can do that now if you want, you can do it after, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna get rid of it because we don't really need it. Um, and I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is on this torpedo, I am going to add a particle system, and that is in effects particle system. Um, let's just rename that to torpedo effect. Okay, and I'm going to rename this sprite as well. Okay, so you'll notice that once you add a particle system, Unity's basic setup for a particle system is going to appear here. We can just, uh, you can pause it. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider so you can see how we go through and edit it. I am by no means an expert at editing Unity's particle system. However, I do know how to manipulate it uh, in order to get the desired effect that I want. So I'm gonna show you the um, settings you have to adjust here. There are a lot of them, but we're only gonna need uh, a few of them. So the first thing that I wanna do is uh, when I think about the torpedo in Star Trek, um, the flares uh, move more rapidly than slowly, so faster than you're seeing now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the duration to 1. Uh, I'm going to have looping on because you don't want the effect to stop. And also pre-warm on. And what pre-warm does is has the effect already playing when you start it up. Um, start lifetime, I'm going to have 0.3. Start speed is 0.5. So uh, what this is, this is more of the desired effect I want because the flares kind of pop in and out. They don't really um, shoot out. Um, what else do I need here? 
So I'm going to do 3D start size. I'm going to change the Y to 2 um, because I'm going to want the flares to be a little bit longer. But like I said, just bear with me and we're going to we're going to go through everything. Uh, randomize the rotation. I'm going to set that to 1 for now. Start color. So the sprite is like an orangey red color. So what I want to do is I also want to make it a color similar to that. Mm. I'm just going to go with this for now. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want after, but this is this is good enough for me right now. So this is good. This is good. Max particles. We do not need that many particles. I'm only going to need like a handful of particles. Let's say seven. Um, this all looks good. So let's just save our progress because that's always a good thing to do. You don't want to lose your progress when you're setting a lot of little pesky stats here. Okay, so the next thing I want to check is the emission. Right over time, I'm going to bump this up to about 25. Okay, that's okay. Now let's go to the shape. So right now, um, you know, uh, the cone particle system, this is, as I understand it, is from whatever your origin is uh, on your game object, it will be emitting in a cone shape uh, within this uh, particular shape right here. So we don't want that. What we want is it to emanate all around the torpedo. So let's change that to a sphere. So that looks a little bit better. Um, the next thing we want to do is align this to direction. So it's starting to pop out a little bit more. That's good. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Everything looks good here. Sorry guys, I know this is uh, not the most interesting stuff, but it will give us the effect we want eventually. Size over lifetime is the other thing I want to change. I am going to make this big at the start. Maybe adjust this a little bit like that. And let me see if I can grab this little guy. There we go, just arcing out at the bottom here. Okay, that's good for the size over lifetime. Now we're gonna go down and play with the renderer. Okay, so this uh, this right here, once I start editing this, you'll see the effect become a lot more apparent. So let's change this to stretch billboard. Already, if you know what the torpedo looks like, if I didn't change anything else right now, this would be even a good enough effect with the sprite in the middle. But let's just make a few more minor, minor adjustments. Let's change the length scale to three. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So that looks pretty nice. Um, Direction's fine, this is fine. Max particle size is fine. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good enough for the particle system now. So let me save this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the collider and the sprite on two different objects, just so I can scale them if I have to. So let's add a sprite renderer here. And this is where we're gonna put the actual picture of the photon on. So let's put this Let's drag this right here in the sprite. So if I zoom in here, you're gonna see that the photon sprite is in the middle. So if I hit the torpedo effect, if that was flying by you, that would look pretty good. But uh, I don't like how the uh, sprite is taller than it is wide. So I believe if I just adjust the scale here for the x-axis, make it a little bit bigger, it will get a little more even. Yep, there we go. So now it's more of a circular shape. It's not the, the most perfect thing in the world, but it gets the job done for now. So let me save that. Let me get this pesky directional light out of the way. Okay, so that looks pretty good right now. Let's add our sphere, colli or sphere collider on the end, sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna actually be showing you any collisions, but you're going to need this um, if you're programming uh, these weapons to hit objects. Uh, so like I said before, we're gonna take off the sphere mesh filter and we're gonna take off the mesh renderer. So all we want is this collider. And um, you'll notice that if you change the size of the collider, let's say I make the collider like this, uh, it doesn't change the size of the sprite. So that's good. Um, torpedo effect, sprite. Okay, so now I just wanna give this a little more realism as like when it comes to uh, space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into the asset store quick here. I'm gonna look for a space skybox. And obviously we only want free because we're cheap. And let me find if I can find a good one here. Milky Way Skybox. I've used this one before. This is a pretty good one. So look for the Milky Way Skybox uh, uh, asset in the asset store. This uh, isn't mine, by the way. I don't know who this guy is and I'm not promoting for him, but it is just a really nice Skybox that uh, is good to use for an example like this. So 
when we import, I only want the material and the texture itself. So let's import that. Just, it's gonna take a little time to import, depending how fast your computer is. It might be slower, it might be faster, but just bear with us here. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go to Window, Lighting, Settings. This is where you change your skybox if you never knew that before. So I'm gonna click this little search button here and I'm gonna pick the Milky Way skybox. So if I go back to the scene, now you can see the skybox in the background. So having the dark background contrast with this brighter torpedo uh, effect uh, really gives it some contrast and you can actually see the effect now. So if I hit the torpedo effect, it looks a little more realistic when it comes to space. <clears throat> so now that the torpedo is basically the way I want it, I am going to, first I'm just gonna pause this. And I'm gonna drag this down here and make it a prefab. Um, so now that it's a prefab, I can just delete it out of the scene. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a couple scripts. Uh, I just wanna make two scripts actually, one where I'm launching the torpedo and one that's controlling the torpedo speed. Two very simple scripts. Um, so let's just call the first script uh, weapons test. And let's call the second script uh, photon. Torpedo. Let's keep it. Let's just keep it that simple. So, the next thing that I want to do is I want to edit these scripts. So let's do start with the photon torpedo. It's probably the easiest one to do. Okay. So all I want to do uh, is the only thing I'm going to need here is I'm going to need a public int. Um, sorry, not int. Float speed um, that I'm just going to set in the editor and I just want the update function. And all I want is transform, translate. I only want this torpedo to be moving forward times the speed. And since we're in the update function, we're gonna do time.delta time. If this was fixed update, we would do time.fix delta time. But we don't have to worry about that because whenever you're doing movement, you should probably wanna do it here for just simple tests. Um, so that's it for the photon torpedo script. That's all we really need. Um, I'm just going to go to the assets over here and I'm going to double click weapons test. So here's the other thing that I want to do. So whatever game object this is on, I am going to want a few things here. First thing I'm going to want is my prefab for my torpedo. And the other thing I'm going to want is something called an audio clip. And I'm just going to call this clip. Now, whenever you're adding an audio source to a game object in unity, um, it actually adds a script called audio source, not audio clip. So if I go to my light here, let me just show you. So audio uh, source, I just want to show you what it looks like. The actual audio clip goes right here. But the reason why I'm not using audio source is because if I try and play an audio source multiple times, uh, it will, the previous sound is going to stop playing and the new sound will cut it out. And I don't want that. What I want it to do is I want the sounds to overlap. So every time I fire a torpedo, I want to spawn a new sound. Uh, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to make multiple audio clips uh, or mo multiple audio sources on each, tor uh, each torpedo instead of doing just one. So let's go back to the editor and let's go to our update function here. So I'm just going to make this real simple. If input uh, get key down, oh, whoops, get key down. And we're going to go key code dot return. Um, basically what I'm saying right here is if I want to fire a torpedo, I'm just going to hit enter. So if I hit enter, let's make a game object, call it temp. And um, it's going to be instantiate. We're going to instantiate our photon torpedo. Oh, sorry, our prefab. Um, let's just have it come out of the origin of the map. I'll just position the camera around the origin to give you the basic example. So a new vector three, and I want this to have the same rotation as the object that's firing these torpedoes. So let's say transform rotation. So these are gonna be firing forward. Okay, so pretty simple. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the torpedo and I'm gonna add a component. And that component is gonna be an audio source. The audio source holds the clip, remember that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is 
Um, I don't know if you knew this or not, but when you add a component to Unity, you can still cast a, uh, a function right after it. It's, it's no problem. So what I want to do is I want to take the play on awake and I want to immediately set it to false. Um, even though I'm just going to be playing it uh, within two seconds, but I want to set the clip first and I don't want there to be any errors. So I'm going to get component now, audio source. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the audio sources uh, clip variable and make it equal to the clip that we are going to be dragging into the game object later. Then I want to take that same component, the audio source, and then we can play it. Very simple. Um, I'm not going to get into changing the sound from 2D to 3D or having the sound fade away in the distance. That's not really the point of this tutorial, so I don't want to get too deep into how the sound works, but this is simple enough. Well, it will get the torpedo playing. So let's go back to Unity and let's let's get a new game object. We're going to reset the transform. So I'm just going to take a look around at the skybox. I'm going to shoot these down because down is just black and you can see um, see the torpedoes better that way. So if I take a look at my game object here, I'm just going to, well, let's just say here, I'm going to bring it up two in the Y axis. That's no big deal. I'm going to rotate the X 90 degrees. So I want this blue arrow pointing down because the torpedoes are going to be spawning from right here and shooting downwards. So I'm going to save that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add weapons test right here. So I'm going to drag this sound into the audio clip and I'm going to drag this, uh, where's the prefab? I'm losing it here. I'm going to drag this prefab right here, the photon torpedo. So the last thing that we have to do is we have to actually go to the photon torpedo and we have to, um, we have to add the torpedo script itself. And let's set the speed to, I don't know, hundred. We'll see how that goes. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the camera direction here. So let me just see which way this is pointing. The origin is right about here. So let's just take the camera and we'll rotate it. Not 60 degrees, that's too, eh, 60 degrees will be fine. So let me save that. Okay, let me just double check, make sure I got everything here. The torpedo has the script on it, everything is saved. All right, let's play the scene and see what happens. So if I hit enter now, I should see a torpedo launch from right above me. And we should hear the sound. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's fire a couple more just to make sure uh, the sounds don't uh, cancel each other out, but they overlap. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Let me just angle that camera a little bit more down. And let's try that one more time. Let's hit enter a few more times. And there you have it. So with just using uh, some basic editing on a particle system in Unity, uh, a sprite from a game from 2004 and its corresponding sound, you can duplicate um, something as basic as a torpedo from Star Trek in Unity. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've always wanted to make one like this because I was a huge fan of Star Trek when I was growing up. So this one was for this one was for my nerd friends out there. Take it easy, guys.